Sixers, welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. We're so glad you're here. Today on Tuesdays, traditionally we do fast food reviews. Today we're headed to Shake Shack. They got a bourbon bacon cheddar burger. We're gonna eat it, review it, and do the whole thing. That's right guys, we wanna do a shout out today. This is a Patreon shout out for Mr. Oren Dix. Oh, an amazing dude. Uh, once again, the lifeblood of this channel is you guys, and specifically Patreon supporters are just helping this show become a thing that it is. Oren donating $10 a month, that's so amazing. That means he gets invites to our hangouts on Patreon. We do Zoom calls with these folks. And um, yeah, just a wonderful move. We appreciate you. If you guys wanna do that, help support the channel and get a shout out. It's patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Enough of the nonsense. Let's go get some food. All right, right into the show, ready? Thank you so much. Have a great day. Two bourbon bacon cheddar burgers from Shake Shack and that bag acquired jump cut. All right, another limited time only item. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got. Open this up. Okay, there we go. Look at those crispy onions. My God. Get that. Sorry, I know your packaging's important, Shake Shack. Uh, there's the bun. Open her up. We've got some special sauce in there. You're seeing the crispy onions. You're seeing the, uh, what's that, like a meat sauce? Some sort of... Yeah, it's a bourbon bacon jam. Oh, bourbon bacon jam. And then, uh, you said it's cheddar, huh? Yeah, it's supposed white, to be cheddar. White and then, cheddar, I guess. Yeah, white cheddar made with uh, Maker's Mark. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, looking good. Looks damn good. These were $8.89 a piece. Okay. And then on this camera, you can really see just how many of those crispy onions are on there. Wow. Loaded it up. Oh, I forgot. Shake Shack thinks they're fancy. They're shallots. Oh. <laughs> All right, smaller onions. All right, uh, bourbon bacon cheddar. Shake Shack, cheers. Cheers. Okay, that's interesting. You can taste that bacon jam, I just don't know if I like it. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of everything. They built this beautifully. Mm -hmm. There's something about that flavor profile I don't think I dig. So bourbon bacon jam would be, they're trying to make it like real sweet and salty like combination, right? Sometimes I get worried that I like don't want a lot of sweetness on burgers. Like I like a little bit of it, but every bite having like a lot of sweetness, I'm not always really into. I wish I, wish I was getting more sweet. Oh really? I don't feel like it's like I don't. I wouldn't describe it as sweet flavored. Like it's not sugary flavoring. I'm getting like a. I am getting a sugary. I feel okay, like. Okay. Okay. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting this trash ass. I don't know what the, they forgot a, the sweetness in your. Oh okay. Yeah. I just can't get over how beautifully they built this. Like every bite has mm -hmm. everything. Not for me. That's gross. Shake Shack, you're disgusting. You should be disappointed in yourself, you pigs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Good, good try. Good effort. They really went. This is very, very different, for sure. <laughs> That's like when your friend introduces you to their girlfriend. You're mm -hmm. like, yeah, she's um, she's really different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, I like that about her. I got described as that a lot. Uh oh. Yeah. Quite frankly, I'd let them put an iPod Nano between my shoulder blades if it means I can get drunk at Caesar's Palace again. I like this. Like, but this is one of those things I would never order again outside of the show. Like, I, I would not be craving this flavoring. No. I know they like to do the promo stuff, obviously. There's nothing like just a regular double shack burger from Shake Shack. Like, I think their standard flavor profile is perfect. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, this is trash. <laughs> and you know what pisses me off about this, too? Tell me. This is the second time I think I've experienced this on the, on the channel, where they have the word bacon yeah. in the title, so I'm expecting, you know, bacon. Yeah, normally. And then it's just bacon jam. Yeah. And there's no bacon. It doesn't taste like bacon. Right. It's just disappointing. When I hear bacon, I want bacon. It's a very good point. They don't put the bacon jam in the title. You gotta read the second and third lines. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've already been duped. You've already spent twenty dollars from a fast food restaurant. Yeah, man. It's remember I told you that story, like when we went and got something downtown, how my family came to visit and we five of us ate and it was $110. Shake Shack is unbelievably overpriced. Oh, yeah, that's true. Although so, eight bucks doesn't seem too crazy. It's like out the door, two burgers, no size. We spent 20 bucks. Like some people be like, ugh, but I don't know. Is it $10 or $8? Because the thing just changed. You told me when you got in, you said these are $8. $8.89 plus tax. Okay. So okay. you're at 20 bucks. Wow. 
for me personally, like I don't, I don't mind a bacon jam. I would have preferred just strips of bacon on that, to be honest. Like regular bacon, also at least, but it didn't have that. And it wasn't bad. I just, I'm never gonna order that again. That was just very like not my thing. On to the next promo item. And if you could tell by this episode, I did hate it. I thought it was <laughs> disgusting. It's rare that I don't finish my full sandwich, especially at the fast food places because they're yeah. not that big. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I put that down after a handful of bites should tell you that it was tastes like pig vomit. <laughs> Get it the hell out of my face, dude. No, thank you. I'll, uh, I'll add one more uh, good thing. Is just I love how much Shake Shack uses a plentiful amount of those crispy shallots. I like, do enjoy that. I think that like that I don't really great. see other places doing that to that caliber, and I think Shake Shack does that really well. Yeah, that's but, you like know. like meeting a new girl and being like, she's got nice shoes. It's like describing. All right, cool. When you, when you ask somebody how they feel about something and they're trying to sugarcoat it and they say, oh, they're interesting. Yeah, can I say one nice thing good... about them yeah. though? Like, look, if all you can do is one nice thing, yeah. then we get the uh, underlying context there. The writing was on the wall there. Yeah. Hey guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it, I mean, you guys, we hear it, say it every time. It, it helps. So do it. Be, be a gentleman. It's a personal favor to Shawnee Lee and Corey Wagner. You guys waiting for it. Also, question for you guys. Uh, based off of my just being upset and disappointed in this whole ordeal today, <laughs> uh, what's something that the fast food world brought into your life that you were uh, highly disappointed by? I saw bacon, I saw smash burger, I expected great things, and instead I got a kick to the groin. So tell me an experience you had that was similar. <laughs> I'll comment mine below as well. You'll read that later. Let's go ahead and rate it. Out of five bottles of Maker's Mark, how many bottles of Maker's Mark do you give the bourbon bacon jam cheddar 889 yeah. burger here from Shake Shack Corey? Not good. Uh, I'm not as bummed about the price. It sounds like you are because at least even Burger King, I expect, I think smash burger for Shake Shack mm -hmm. is like a step up from Burger King. Definitely. But a new item from Burger King is going to be like eight and some change. So I'm kind of all right with that. Uh, but the flavor, the flavor got me. It was not good. The false advertising got me. There was no bacon. There's not much else to say about it. I took a handful of bites and put it down. That's unlike me at a Shake Shack. I'm going to give that a below average score. That's going with a... Uh, Go with a 1.5. Boom! I'm just a touch over, just a scooch over average. I didn't hate the pl flavor profile like Corey, but no part of me, there was nothing to be left to be desired for the future of that. I'm going 2.6. But are you excited about a 2.6 when you're a burger? I don't I don't think so. But I don't have a lot of burger friends. Let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. Tomorrow, we're going to head over to Little Goat, which is a diner here in the West Loop. We're going to snag a couple of sandwiches, uh, an iconic spot. Uh, Stephanie Izzard, I think her name, has three different restaurants in Chicago, so we're going to snag that. So come on back for local stuff, and we will see you very, very soon. We'll talk Shake Shack. We'll talk upsetting promo items below, and we'll talk soon. Goodbye.